Welcome back. There are renewed efforts to make sure that every Vermont veteran has a wreath on their grave this holiday season. 802 News host Mark Johnson sat down with Susan Sweetser, whose daughter died after suffering from PTSD after serving in Iraq. We've introduced you to Susan before in our in-depth investigation of veteran suicides in the Green Mountain State. Susan's daughter, Ginny, joined the Army one year after 9-11. One year after that, she deployed to Iraq. Susan says Ginny returned with emotional scars from war and struggled to get the mental health help and disability benefits she needed through Veterans Affairs. Let's take a listen to the latest 802 News episode. When we send our soldiers to war, we have to be prepared to help them when they come back instead of throwing so many obstacles in front of them. And unfortunately, when Ginny came back, you know, she came back to a system, Mark, that is not designed. Certainly, I think it's better now, but not nearly better enough. And 802 News host Mark Johnson joins us now. Mark, talk about this interview. It sounds like this was perhaps a particularly difficult one. Yeah, it was tough. Um, Susan Sweetser has been a, a long time um, person I've known here in Vermont. She served in the Vermont State Senate, ran for Congress, and uh, this is a really poignant story. Her daughter, as you mentioned, signed up to uh, serve in the military right after 9-11, thought it was the right thing to do and really faced some really difficult stuff in Iraq. She was part of a group that would um, go and remove tanks that had been hit. In some cases, there were still bodies there. At one point, she cradled a young child that was in the midst of dying. You know, she came home with nightmares. Mm -hmm. And what changes does her mother want to see to the way Veterans Affairs are handled that could have maybe helped her daughter? For one thing, to cut through the red tape, there was a lot of difficulty she had getting help. They also just fed her a lot of pharmaceutical drugs, and that really is not necessarily the right way to do it. Mm -hmm. Tell us then about her efforts to try to get wreaths onto veterans' graves this holiday season. Yeah, this is a, an effort that goes on nationwide, wreaths across America. They've come pretty close in past years. There are six different sites in Vermont, the biggest one of course, down in Randolph. And there's about 5,000 wreaths that they need to get sponsors for, 17 bucks a piece. And I think what Susan and others feel is meaningful is that by putting a wreath on a grave around the holidays, it means that these veterans have not been forgotten. So they're they're on their way, but there's there's quite a long way to, ways to go. And, um, you know, do it for Jenny. Mm -hmm. And we do have information on our website about where you can go to help put wreaths on veterans' graves. We also have, of course, a link to the latest 802 News podcast where you can listen to Susan's conversation with Mark. That's on our website, wcax.com. Mark, thank you so much. You bet.